Alright, what is going on you guys? It's your boy White Album here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. Today, I am bringing you guys the official MK1 Chaos Reigns Sector game play. Woo! I'm so hyped. I, ooh, I say I'm so hyped, but I, I, I kind of mentioned this already if you didn't see my post. But I did already see this. Uh, I was at work. Um, and you know, I, I tried everything in my power to not see this because I wanted to get my genuine reaction uh for you guys but i caved in man i caved in hard like, I, I will say i managed to last a, a hot minute you know um i think it dropped around like nine uh my time and i think i lasted until like 12 so i i could i've almost made it the whole day or at least my whole work day uh, without seeing it but I, I caved in man i had to see it i had to see it I had to say, because I, I, I've already said this, this is, uh, Sektor is my most anticipated character of this pack, of Combat Pack 2 in general, out of the, uh, you know, the three MK characters and the uh, three guest characters, though, obviously, I'm hyped for Ghostface, I love Scream, one of my favorite slashers out there, um, but Sektor was definitely my most anticipated, because Sektor is one of, like, my top five favorite all-time MK characters, man. Regardless if Sector is now a girl or a boy, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. If it's Sector, I love it, you know. So, uh, but I think what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna watch it the first time, and then we're gonna kind of go uh, go slow motion and see what we got going on. Uh, you know, check out some of her moves and what she's got back, what she doesn't. So, here we go, man. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy, man. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ooh. Welcome to the party, baby doll. No, nah, dude, that's such a six for Johnny, man. Call me Sector. I'll call you anytime you want. The Rizzler, bro. The Riz. I love how like smug she looks. I love her face. Yeah. Havoc looking sick as shit. The flying knee. All chameleon. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. This katana skin ain't it. I ain't gonna lie. I like it. I've seen like a version of it where they got like the full body. It actually looks pretty sick, like the design wise. Just stop giving her a fucking mohawk, bro. We already got one skin with the mohawk. We don't need another one. Like give her give her like kind of like the other chaos skin that she has where it's like her normal hair, but like the with the tips are like green. Just do that where it's purple and blue. That would look so sick. But here we go. Look, look at me. Yeah, what's it called? Resources. But hey, it's for Katana, so I'll take it. Myself and oh, ye. God damn, dude. She, she's so sick, I can't wait. Look at that, a new stage as well. Oh, Chameleon, man. She speaks now, which is insane. We are not fighting for her mercy. We are fighting for our lives. Ooh, I love the voice actress. Uh, 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 uh. That low... Nope, get the fuck out of here, Darius. <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. I return, there will be anarchy. This was also so funny. Watch this. Like, why the fuck did you do that, Sub Zero? <laughs> oh, he's so stupid. Maybe that's why he's bottom one. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Uh, uh. This stage is insane. Uh, smart missile. Ground pound. Uh, uh. Up missiles. Flamethrower. The fucking float. Uh, uh. Fatal blow. I love, like, the multiple punches. That's just so clean. I love that, too. It's, like, rare that you see, uh, what's it called that do that? Fatal blows. Oh, saw that face? Mmm. Damn. Uh, uh. Oh man, this, uh, dude, come on! This fatality is insane. Fucking takes him out to space. It's clearly an Iron Man reference. That the you don't own an air fryer. Yeah, she fixed the icing problem, all right. <laughs> That's such a cool wind pose too. God damn, dude. I don't care. Look, I, okay, hold on. Well, let's watch her animatic because I think her animatic is sick. 
The fucking rhino. Uh. Oh, that's okay. If you were me growing up, you guys know about uh, Echo Unlimited and how that was their logo is a rhino. So, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, I think her, first of all, her animality, I think, is a lot cooler than it was in Trilogy because I believe, if I remember in Trilogy, it was a bat. I don't know. I, I do want to make a little video of me going through the uh, like OG animalities. These are not feel. I want animalities. I'm so happy animalities are coming back, man. So I definitely want to do a, a, re, a, a video reacting to like the uh, you know trilogy animalities because ooh come on animalities are so cool. I mean, you don't see any other fighting game doing. That. I mean besides like Bloody Roar where they turn into a fucking animal, but that game hasn't been around since like the 2000s. <laughs> uh, hold on, because I think. They also show something that's pretty cool here. Okay, besides the skins, because then look at this, look at this, this is insane. Besides the skins. Who's the tiger? Cause, okay, we still don't know who the fuck the goddamn gorilla is. I'm pretty sure it has to be reptile, right? Because obviously, scorpion, that's havoc, but who is the, who is the tiger, man? Like, because again, you can kind of like, when you look at the, these two ray animals right here, the hyena and the scorpion, you can tell who they are right off the bat because like the way they're designed, you know, like the, the fucked up mouth here is obviously Havoc. The scar right here on, on the scorpion is scorpion. But like, obviously you can't tell who the fuck the gorilla is. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a scar on this gorilla's face. You want to know who else has a scar besides Sub-Zero? Smoke. I think Smoke has a scar on his face, so that could be Smoke. I think that's Smoke. But I don't know who the hell the tiger's supposed to be. I don't see... Like, I don't see anything that would give away that it's a tiger. Maybe it's Reiko. That'd be pretty sick if Reiko got the tiger, but... You know, uh... Fucking... She got, she got the rhino. Like, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool, but... Man, dude, like... Ugh. She just looks so sick, dude. Both of them, the, the Iron Maidens, as I call them, dude. And she really is an Iron Maiden because she did fucking Iron Man's... She has an Iron Man reference in her fucking uh, fatality. But we're going to watch this again. We're going to go through slow motion. We're just going to, like, kind of call out what we uh, what I noticed here. You know, what's uh, what came back, what's new, what's different with her gameplay. And then, obviously, the one big thing that we saw with Jax is he's got, he's got gotcha grab now. So here we go, man. Let's do it. Let me turn that off real quick. So let's just skip over to the like. I love her fate. Like, come on, bro. This uh, whoever they bro. It, you can't look. You can knock NRS all you want, but they know how to get some fucking face models, bro. Like, come on, like it, bro. Liu Kang's vision was that everybody looking sexy as hell, whether it, they're a fucking male or female in this goddamn timeline, bro. Because <laughs> look at the Empress, look at look at the, the twins, the twins being uh, Melina and Katana. You got Johnny, you got Kenshi, you got Ashra, Natara, obviously Natara's Megan Fox for crying out loud. Uh, you know, hell, even Quan Chi, bro. Quan Chi's got his charm, you know. Hey, he's got his little charm there, you know. You know, Shank, he's got the, you know, the smug, like, pompous look on him, but that's always been Shang Tsung. <laughs> and come on, obviously, the girls now, the Iron Maidens, with uh, Sector here and Cyrax looking hella gorgeous. I mean, we don't see Noob Cybot's face, but we already know who it is. But here we go, let's uh, let's skip over, let me stop my fucking uh, romanticizing everybody here. Let's get to some gameplay, shall we? So here we go, starting off, we got... Uh, and I'll, don't give me no what to call because I'm just I'm just want to see what I could like remember from from Sector. Obviously her main moves and what I've noticed. So here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see she's wearing like socks and shit there. And also Chameleon, she speaks there. That was pretty cool. Uh, uh, that string looks familiar, but she's got like this uppercut that you know when I was at work I was like watching this over and over, so I was like kind of analyzing what she's got now. So kind of like Ermac, she has a string that like lets her pop up opponents in the air, so she could do her aerial moves. As you kind of see there. And now she does like a little pop up there. She does like that, uh, what is it, the 4 3 from uh, MKX, like the, the slide. Uh, nice little knockdown like it was in that game. Got the nice little overhead here, which is like your standard box standard overhead. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna catch somebody. But what makes me wonder, like, if you notice here, when she bops them in the head, so, uh, knocks them down. I wonder if this, like, if this is a double string where, you know, you hit them initially over the head and then you press the second button to get this low here, which I'm assuming is the case because I think, I'm trying to remember what character has 
a string like that. I think it's Shao Kahn. I don't know if it's, if it's an overhead for Shao Kahn. I can't, I don't remember. Um, but, uh, it, it's, it's just like a, no, it's not, no, it's, uh, it's rain that I'm thinking of. Rain, rain has that overhead. I think it's not really an overhead. It's a high, you can block it. I think it's an overhead. I don't know. I don't play rain. So correct me if I'm wrong, if it's an overhead, but it uh, looks like she could probably cancel from that. But if she wants the hard knockdown to set down a missile or something, she can do that easily. Uh, nice little standing, probably standing three, standing four. We got fucking look at that. Look at this little smug smile on the prince's face. Also, cool little reference to uh, to her OG stance. Yeet, pop him. Uh, uh. And I don't know. Did it look to me that you can now jump from this a lot faster now from Goro's toss? I don't know if that was intentional because I've seen Goro players. If you main Goro as your cameo, um. Normally, because when I was trying to mount with Katana, I can't really get that jump to come out fast enough to combo from it. So maybe that's something. Or I could just be overthinking this way too much, but who knows? Because they show Goro off for a reason. Or maybe just show off her. <laughs> maybe they just did it to show off her uh, her aerial combos. What she's got. Uh, uh, float, uh, kick. And then she's got the she's got the shoulder bash from MKX again, which is pretty sick. It's cool that she's got it, but, um... Oh, excuse me. Um... She gets the shoulder bash, but uh, Cyrax doesn't, which is which is pretty neat. It's a nice little, nice to nice to uh, separate the two there. Uh, uh, which I'm assuming you could get something off of there. And then the back grab, which is a it's a it's a reference to her. I've heard people say it's like Devora, but it's a it's a reference to her old grab, or Sector's grab from like OG Mortal Kombat, where like the claw comes out, grabs them, and he just fucking flips them over. <laughs> it's essentially that. And then she activates the flamethrowers. All right, then we got baby girl chameleon talking. All right, let's gonna skip here. All right, now this is cool. So she gets her fucking up missiles back again too, and they're actually comboable. I don't think were there were they ever comboable even in like MK9? No, were they even? Yeah, because I think I think I think Sector OG Sector or MK9 Sector had the up missiles or the uh, back missiles, but in MKX they didn't they didn't combo at all whatsoever. Uh, I don't know Kirby for maybe they did I don't know, but here you can, it kind of reminds me of uh, in um, <laughs> Quan, Quan Chi's face. It kind of reminds me in Injustice Two when uh, Brainiac does like those tendril things from his back. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that special move, but I don't think you could, I, if I remember correctly, I don't think you could combo off of them, unfortunately. They were just a combo ender. But here you get a combo, like a combo launcher. Let me see, does she start up here? Okay, so it's a meter burn combo starter. Uh, uh, uh. Up air, and this is, this is what I want to talk about right here. This is insane, so. After that, uh, uh, meter burn air missile, and then she cancels it into this fucking like uh it's like it reminds me of jackie's uh ground slam and mk11 like i don't know if you ever got mixed up by that and mk11 when, like, when jackie does like her jump forward to you and uh they had like the mix up of either doing like the overhead or straight into the, like the the meter burn launch a uh, ground slam launch that's it they gave her basically jackie's uh ground slam from the, her aerial uh, ground slam so, uh, and it pops up too, which is pretty sick. Then we got Jax coming out. Also the stage again. This is the, uh, oh, I just realized this is the, um, oh, hello. This is the, uh, this is like a destroyed version of the, uh, Great Hall. I think that's what it's called, right? It's like on fire or something like that. Like, look at the pillars here and shit. Sets up the missile. Uh, and look at this, this is a nasty low, bro. If that missile is on overhead and you, they gave her a low like this, watch this. Kick the ankle in, and then fucking uh, that's pretty sick. Aerial missile. The watch. Okay, this is what we gotta talk about here, bro. Fucking Jax just comes out of nowhere and just yoinks Darius. He's like, no, nope, get over here. Uh, uh, uh. So in a way, it's kind of like a eagly. Uh, if you don't play Peacemaker or if you don't really see Peacemaker using it because they're zoning you half the game. Uh, Peacemaker has can call an eagly and that'll stop their cameo, which is insane, which is pretty cool So now they basically gave that to Jax and if you play Jax, you pretty much have eagly with you Oh, sorry. I almost had a sneeze there 
but let's go back to Sector here while Jax is beating up Darius in the back. But this string right here looks familiar. I'm trying to remember like where she like the punch into the elbow there. Did the did, did, did Triborg have this string back in MKX? I don't know. I didn't really play MKX like that. And then we got a, this like uppercut, which is almost reminiscent of the teleport uppercut. But the thing is, if you don't know, if you didn't notice from the trailer, Sector doesn't have the like iconic teleport punch anymore. Like, so that's basically, and I, I think I kind of like that because now it doesn't render a Sector cameo at like useless because you basically still have that. But it, I mean, you can't, you could barely even combo off of that. I mean, if you're fast enough, you can combo off a of teleport punch. I think it's more to like catch people like uh, trying to like duck your projectiles or if they're jumping. But it's essentially that right here. So the uppercut and then the ground slam again into the up missiles. Like stand, like that looks like maybe a stand two. I think that's like stand two by the looks of it. Stand two, two, one. Knock them down. Got Havoc beating up Liu Kang. You know, for a, <laughs> for a, for a Titan Liu Kang, come on, brother. I can't blame him. He was a little too leisurely here. Let's just skip ahead here because I just want to get to the gameplay. Unfortunately, we don't get to see what this happens, but it, we don't know how this string starts up, but it is like a a flying knee. So I got to watch this. Uh, flying knee start up, and then they have the uh, the kick from MKX, but it's like the aerial version of it now, like a little spin kick into this aerial. But this is the cool thing about this aerial move. Okay, missile again. On the ground missile hopefully that's a mid and not a high because if that's a mid guess who's playing this character or i guess who's maining this character because that's like some robocop shit into smart missile meter burn fucking aramac teleports like a moron i wonder how fast that recovery is for that to happen well, well this is also a pretty cool little detail i saw that was like the lin koi logo that was pretty sick uh stand three into that into What's it call again? Up missile. Then watch this, huh? Meter burn flamethrower is a restand, baby. Insane. I wonder, so I wonder if it's like in, um, I wonder if the non meter burn version just knocks them down. Or maybe like, re I don't like, I don't know how that works. I know back in MK11 with Robocop with his flamethrower. Uh, meter burning it didn't restand them unfortunately, which kind of sucked. That would have been sick. I would have, I would have loved that if that would have re, uh, that would have um, restanded for him. But it's basically, it's good old fashioned flamethrower, you know. Triborg had it, MK9 Sector had it, Robocop had it, and you already know me. I'm a Robocop bo uh, fanboy. I love Robocop. And now Fem Sector has it, you know, and it's a meter burn too, which is pretty nice. And I wonder if this does like DOT over time too. Now, this is insane. So it's essentially her flow is almost like um, it's not, it's more like Sindel's in a way. It's, it's more like it's not Ermax, but it's definitely like Sindel's float. But the cool thing is, is watch this. Meter burns it once, meter burns it twice and then goes into Fatal Blow. So it's almost like uh, Omni-Man. You know how when you do Omni Man's uh, aerial string, like aerial, like his like little like dash aerial dash, uh, the more you do it, the more uh, it has. Like if you do it once, it's like free, but if you do it a second time, you have to spend meter. I'm assuming it's the same thing with Sector here, but I wonder if you can do some like Sindel type shit here, where you can do the string or like Ermac too. Ermac kind of does the same thing too, where uh, you know how Ermac does like the what is it the two. Four two string where he does like the the punch kick and then like the uppercut that leaves him floating in the air and then you can float and it's the same thing with Sindel with her back two where you can cancel her back two in the float. I'm pretty sure Sector has the same thing now. So if you could stagger it like a Sindel player can do, you know, with back two float, that that'd be pretty insane. That'd be pretty nutty, bro. Like when you think about it, Sector is like Sindel with just more projectile options. When you think about it, like the restand is basically scream. Uh, except without the meter burn uh you have the float Un uh, unfortunately you can't float more than once with a uh, sindel in a single like uh movement you can do that multiple sector 
but the re-stand is sick does the flow like look at that dodges the low over the uppercut hits him with the jump one jumps over again hits him with the jump one again uh that look like a back two that like that little push thing oh hold on i just noticed that yeah watch this uh i don't know if it's a back two but uh it kind of reminds me of uh when triborg does that move or at least the sector variation Hits him with that like, double palm and then you can call in rocket. That's what it reminds me of. It's a fatal blow. We didn't see we already know how Song starts up, so we didn't need to see that. We're watching basically Sector. Comes out with the fucking claw. Grabs Ermac by the face. I really like her fatal blow. I think her fatal blow is probably. I don't want to say my favorite, but I like it out of all the DLC characters so far. Because then she does like all these multiple punches. And this is a pretty cool detail. Watch this. That like, you can still see them get damaged in the fatal blow in the in the in the x-ray shot you still see them get hit that's pretty cool i think she's the only character that that that, that oh damn the stutters i think she's the only character where that happens in their fatal blow into the knockdown then we got b honk can you hear me let's see anything else here all right skip in here string again up missile meter burn so it looks like um i wonder how that works i wonder if so you could probably no wait hold on i just don't is that the pillars of creation right here like the nebula the pillars of creation that's pretty sick if that's the case i don't know why i just noticed that all right i don't know why that caught my eye i'm into i like i like astronomy astronomy astrology is the other thing right yeah astronomy i, I like astronomy so um but back to the back to sector here i wonder if these because you see how she meter burned them and then they popped them up I wonder if the other versions like his like normal or hers i should say back in like mk9 and i think he had these in mk9 and mkx where he calls in the missiles that come up from the what's it called and they just like land because the times that we've seen sector use these it's always been for a combo which is don't get me wrong it's sick i actually like that i don't know if anybody i don't know if anybody else noticed that um and my headphones just died so i don't really care i mean i'm already this is on silent so it doesn't matter to me um i wonder if they act like a normal projectile but when you meet or burn them they act as like a combo starter if you're doing it from a combo which is pretty cool which is pretty cool let's keep going uh 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 jump again hard knock or just kill them here and then we get this we get the iron man fatality the iron maiden fatality the finish him all of her stance uh i'm trying to like think is that was that her was that sector stance back in like mk9 i don't think so right i don't think it is but here we go the backhand uh fucking launches them up into the air out into the st fucking stratosphere <laughs> <laughs> look at the fucking moon in the background the oh the, there you go the iconic iron man fucking scene you know <laughs> clearly you don't own an air fryer meme love it look, I love, again i love how smug she looks here they i love i love that about sector in this game is that i don't want to say sector back in well the problem with, with sector back in the old games like he was like he, he's a fucking robot and we only saw him once as a human that was mk9 and that was for like two chapters <laughs> but i love how for this version of sector it looks like they kind of gave her a little bit more personality which i like maybe that's not what maybe some old school mk sector fans want to hear from me but that's what i'm gonna say i think they gave her a lot more personality she's a lot more smug a lot more cocky i fucking love it it fits sector it fits sector perfectly uh you know so let's keep going She's like, ah, oh, fuck. We're getting a little too hot. We're, we're breaching. First of all, how would she survive this? Even with the suit? Because if you notice, like, right... Is there, like, a find a good screenshot? Uh, uh. Like, right here, you she her arms are exposed here. She would fucking die. Uh, she would, like, legit, like, burn up. Even with the suit, her arms would be gone because of that fucking fatality. But, you know, small little detail that I noticed. 
Ermac is getting absolutely deleted. This is, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still uh, like a top five fatality in this game. Explosion, just deleted from the face of the earth and the crater, the, the superhero landing. Yeah, dude, the fucking Jacks in the background, dude. Yeah, I, I love her, man. I'm so hyped for this character to drop, dude. When uh when Chaos Reigns drops, I'm she's gonna be my go-to. I think I worked that day, unfortunately, so who knows? I might have to I might have to uh might have to call off work that day. Who knows? Who knows? But I love the I love this animality turned into a fucking uh, almost said a unicorn. <laughs> Well, it technically, yeah, you know, logically speaking, it's a unicorn. Well, it's got two. Never mind. So forget what I just said. Forget what I just said. <laughs> uh, but the rhino's cool. I actually kind of like it. I mean, that makes me fun. It makes me think because in trilogy, Sektor's animality was a bat, and I wonder because they have Natara now, they're gonna give Natara the bat uh, uh, animality, which I mean. It's pretty easy to deduce. She's a vampire. Vampires and bats go together like peanut butter and jelly. So, but I like the rhino. The rhino's sick. The, the fucking, uh, that one would happen IRL to you if you went to the fucking Serengeti right now. Uh, just dragging them. Oh, just dragging them. Just dragging them. But yeah, I, I'm super high for Sector, bro. Her gameplay is insane, dude. I mean, and obviously they say the best for last with Noob Saibot. I think everybody's anticipating Noob Saibot, but again, I'm a Sektor fanboy through and through. I've always loved Sektor. Again, one of my top like five favorite MK characters of all time. So I was definitely, I was definitely the most anticipated for her gameplay, and I'm not, and I was not disappointed. Was not disappointed with her gameplay, and it, it just, it's just that comes down to, you know, just time because we still have. A few weeks left before chaos run. I think we still have let's see a little bit of this week a little bit of next week so still two weeks away before we get uh before we get chaos reigns because I'm all I'm saying is the second I get home from work I'm hopping on chaos reigns and I'm playing sector man and you already know how we we're rocking with sector man come on we have be rocking Shujinko come on man this is a, this this channel is the home for Shujinko man and all the Shujinko tech Unless you watch Shujinki Dink. If you watch him, I mean, he's named after the fucking character. So you can go watch him as well when it comes to Shujinko. Um, but definitely, definitely going to be grinding that character out, man. Don't get me wrong. I'll play the other two when uh, when I when I get comfortable with Sektor. Probably I'll do Cyrex and then Noob Saibot. Like, I like Noob Saibot. I was never like, a big fanboy of him. But then obviously we still got the three DLC characters. We got Ghostface, Conan the Barbarian and the T-1000. It's funny because a few weeks ago, I actually watched Conan the Barbarian for like the first time in like a few years and whew, that movie still holds up. I recommend watching it. If, you, um, if you're if you still a little bit skeptical about Conan, I recommend watching Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer actually. There's actually two Conan movies. I recommend watching both of them. Uh, but not for my, my ramblings, man. That's going to be it for today's video. Rocking it out, man. Watching this insane sector gameplay. Can't wait to see what I can do with her when she drops me. I can't wait to see her gear options when she drops and her color palettes. Uh, but, you know, again, all in due time. Gotta wait a bit before we get our hands on this, uh, on these DLC characters, man. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.